today's pro bike check, we've got quite an unusual bike. This is BMX legend Ryan Nyquist's slope style bike. This is the bike that Ryan's riding at the Joyride Slope Star Competition here at Whistler Crankworks. And it's definitely a BMX inspired mountain bike. It's a harrow frame, steel frame, really small as you can see, hard tail, 26 inch wheels. Let's take a closer look. Starting off with the bars, obviously really BMX inspired, really narrow deity handlebars, and these Odyssey brake levers that are pulling cable actuated disc brakes. And the big thing I can notice here is this gyro. Basically, that lets Ryan spin the bars an awful lot, you know, as many times as he wants, basically, so the cables don't get all tangled up. The front brake cable is going straight through the steerer tube, pops out down here. So again, as the bars spin, it doesn't matter, it's not gonna get tangled at all. And this gyro, you see how it splits the cables to get out on either side. It's a really clever system. Again, it comes with BMX, you can just spin the bars an unlimited amount of times. So 26 inch wheels on this bike, great for those tricks, really easy to spin the bike around, do tail whips, bar spins, things like that. Uh, profile hubs, Novatec rims, and these Maxxis, really thin, really fast, Max Lite 2.0 tires, pumped up, absolutely rock hard. Up front, there's a Fox 36 fork with that big 20 mil bolt through, so really strong. They're slammed down to 100 mil of travel, but actually that doesn't matter because they're pumped up again, rock hard. So you don't really need that suspension too much just for those bigger hits. So the bike's set up single speed. It's got this SRAM XO carbon crank, so you almost look out of place in this bike, carbon fiber. A 30 tooth chain ring and this BMX half link chain. Set up really tight chain tension on there. I think that's probably to sort of help stop the cranks from spinning when his feet come off the pedals, and those pedals are Harrow lineage. Something that's really unusual for a mountain bike is this peg setup on the back. He's got two pegs, one either side. Uh, I'd definitely like to ask Ryan what he uses those for. On the rear, we've got a Maxxis DTH street tyre, again, pumped up, absolutely rock hard, and a McNeil seat and carbon seat post. So Ryan, you've ridden BMX for a long time now. You're here, we're here at Crankworks Whistler. Yeah. Is it a big transition, right, you know, going from BMX to the mountain bike? It is, um, for obvious reasons. It's a totally different bike, uh, different size mainly, uh, especially the wheels, but it just has different, like, different feel to everything, especially like when you're spinning and stuff. It just, I find like you just have to really drop your shoulder and kind of accentuate the spin in order to get that nose in. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit of a, um, a process and I try not to, like do too much of like the bike switching before events just so yeah. like you know your brain is kind of on that right path of like yeah. okay i'm riding the 26 this one i know how it works because if you switch back back and forth it's like your brain or my brain anyways tends yeah. to get kind of jumbled up and that's when things kind of go away well you're well known for being able to 360 anything so i guess it's not too much of a challenge riding a mountain bike and doing that honestly like that's kind of how i started riding mountain bikes was um i hopped on a buddy's bike and tried to 360 double on his yeah. uh, hardtail and like it took me like nine tries no of actually like crashing and yeah. like jumping off it and i was just like why is this so hard? Like yeah. a 360 is not a difficult trick for me to do, like just stock three. So once I like finally learned, I was like, I was kind of hooked of just like the challenge of like the same type of tricks, but just on a different bike. So what about the course? Obviously you ride big jumps in a BMX anyway, but what about riding these slope courses? Is that, is that a big difference? Yeah, it has been. And that's been a bit of adjustment as well. Um, just the drops and stuff like that are so massive out here. And, and obviously these bikes can handle the speed and they have suspension, so the lane is a little bit softer. So like the drops and everything, even the jumps can be a little bit bigger. They're a little bit more forgiving, I feel like these bikes are. Yeah. Um, so yeah, like just, yeah, it was such a learning process of me just like, building confidence and knowing that I could do stuff on this bike as opposed to like the very first like month or two I was on this thing I was so timid like yeah. everything was just like brand new like I wasn't sure if I could do a bar spin on it kind yeah, of stuff yeah. so it was it was pretty much starting from scratch but I was actually really happy about that whole experience it was like kind of like uh you know when people say like if I could go back to school with the knowledge I know how yeah. or no, the knowledge I'm now it's like kind of like that I was like going back to the beginning of like starting how to learn how to ride a bike but with the knowledge of like, well, I know how to 360. Yeah. So like, you know, the learning curve for me was like a lot like steeper. I was learning more yeah. stuff faster and faster, but I was also really excited just to be learning this stuff because it just felt so different. And I guess it's fair to say you're a bit of a veteran at the BMX thing. So I guess it's something fresh as well. Yeah, awesome. breath of fresh air for sure. It was just like, and I, was, I found myself just like kind of wanting to just like ride this bike all the time just because it was so new. It was just, you know, you can go the same jumps, the same exact thing, but just everything felt totally different and totally fresh. I've got to ask you about the pegs. We don't see them very often on a mountain bike. Yeah. Uh, how are you going to use those? <laughs> Um, you know, mainly just carrying friends around the village, you know, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, 
But no, I, you know, for me, like it's one of those, a trick in the air, like you use your pegs for, it's called a rocket air. Yeah. And so for me, that was always like one of my favorite things to do on a BMX bike was any kind of rocket variation, whether it be a no-hander or a bar spin or a rocket 360 bar spin. I mean, there's so many possibilities. So when I started riding these bikes, I was like, I wonder if I could. Yeah. And then when I realized that I definitely could put pegs on there, I was like, I wonder if I should. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, yeah, maybe I should. And then yeah. I've been given a shot, but it's just, it's hard to find like spaces to put those tricks in because I mean, it's such a BMX specific trick that I don't know if it really gets understood by the judges or not. So I try to factor that into runs and, you know, if there's a place where I could do it, I definitely will because I, I just, I love the feeling of being back on the pegs and floating through the air, so. Awesome, thanks Ryan. Yeah, no worries, man. If you want to see more videos from GMBN, you can click down there for the full pro bike playlist and click over here for what is slope style. And you can subscribe right here if you'd like. Just, yeah. just click right here. Give us a thumbs up if you like Ryan's bike. I know you do, thumbs up.